to Graceville, where God's love is everywhere. It's me, Pastor Anastasia, and I'm so excited that you join me today as we learn more about our best friend, Jesus. Today's special feature comes to us all the way from Denmark where my friends Lucas and Philip have prepared a beautiful song just for us. Let's listen in. Jesus tells me. Job, Lucas and Philip. And today we have an extra special treat. Our friend Ryan from Canada is back with our nature feature. Let's see who he has with him today. This is my pet kiwi. He's a Pac-Man frog. He likes insects and worms, but he will also eat mice, fish, other frogs, and even reptiles. Pac-Man frogs will sit and wait for their prey to get close, then leap forward to grab them. They swallow their prey whole. Thanks, Ryan. That was awesome. Boys and girls, remember, if you want to share the cool things that you're doing to have fun, please have your parents or guardians inbox me, and I'll be happy to share it with our friends. Even though we may not all look alike, sound alike, grow up alike, or our skin color may not even be alike, we are all precious in God's sight, which means we should be loving and respectful to each other. That's why our theme for today is Share God's Love. Let me hear you say it. Share God's Love. Comparte el amor de Dios. Great job! And our memory verse for today is found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 15. And it simply says, Do good to each other. Let me hear you say it. Do good to each other. First Thessalonians 5.15 You did it! Great job! When someone is in trouble or in need, it's the perfect time to share God's love. Instead of making fun or ignoring them, God wants us to lend a helping hand. That's why our story for today is about a man who did not let hateful differences cause him to stop being a good neighbor. Can you guess who our story is about today? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I know this one. It's the Grand Samaritan. That's right, my friend. Our story is about the Good Samaritan. A religious leader once asked Jesus, Who's my neighbor? Jesus replied with this story. One day, a Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho all alone. Suddenly, bad men attacked him. They beat him up and stole all his money. He was so badly hurt that he could not move. Sometime later, a priest walked by the injured man, but he ignored him. Next, a Levi saw the helpless man, but he crossed the road to avoid him too. Not long after, a Samaritan was passing by. Samaritans and Jews did not get along. They were enemies, but this Samaritan was kind. He did not let their bad history stop him from doing what was right. So he decided to help him. He even took him to an inn and paid all his bills. That day, they learned that even though we may be different, we can still be good neighbors by showing God's love. 
Boys and girls, every time we choose love instead of hate, like the Good Samaritan did, we are sharing God's love. When we choose kindness instead of selfishness, we are pointing people to Jesus. So what are you waiting on? Be good neighbors. And like our memory verse says, do good to each other. Boys and girls, if you want to see more videos from Graceville, please ask your parents to like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit like at the bottom of the page.